Hey, Orange One here. So we're back at the base. Um, I want to do a few things a little bit different today. Um, we're going to do more with the base missions, but I did want to go out with the car and do some um, maybe combat. I don't know. We'll see. Um, basically, just to give you a heads up. Um... Wait, Dark Howler? Where's the Dark Howler? What? I think I'm going crazy. Yeah, I'm like seeing things through walls. That doesn't make sense. Yeah, so check this out. In our little base here, we have some chicks. We got a little brown chick there and a yellow chick. Uh, Louie is hurt uh, quite a bit still by the looks of it. I think that's just these limbs that are still broken and they're still healing. Because he seems to be okay. Everyone else seems to be doing all right. Like, if we look here at their wounds. Um, who was it? Those other person that was kind of hurt? Yeah, you guys are definitely kind of hurt. But Louis is the most injured. <clears throat> Our insane bird man. Um, so yeah, check this out. We got um, the southeast side of the base built up. I don't think I did that with you guys here. Yeah, I think that this is new. The broken console there, which is weird because I don't remember a console being there beforehand, but whatever. And let's see, if we're looking here, we actually have... I just uh, killed a moose, like, honestly, like, right before I started recording. And then just, like, preserved a ton of fat, like, lard and cracklings. That's why we have so much food right now, is it's basically, like, moose fat. And I think we might even have some uh, meat in the... In the car that we need a smoke so I might do that a little bit yeah let's see what's the what's the meat situation here chunk of meat 146 that is a lot that is a ton of meat um we're gonna need to make charcoal if we're gonna do that which uh yeah we don't really have that set up well enough yet do I have a chainsaw I'm just curious if I have a chainsaw I might go cut down a tree and bring some logs We've got a combat chainsaw. I thought I had like an actual chainsaw, like a old school chainsaw. Oh yeah, we also have to move our table here. Uh, yes, I do have an actual chainsaw. Can I grab that? It's just gonna be way better for actually cutting down trees and stuff. Um, and we're gonna need a lot of wood if we're gonna be preserving that meat. Which I don't know if we're going to actually even be able to do, honestly. Um, uh, I don't know. I might actually see about how long it would take us to just craft all that meat ourselves. Or dehydrate it just really quick. Um, nope, stop that. If I look at meat, and I look at cooked meat, it takes 21 minutes. If I want to do 20 of that, yeah, this is going to take forever for us to do all that meat. Um, we could give them meat and tell them to cook it at the base. Oh yeah, let's do that. I I think we even have like a little cooker or something. Um... Let's see, what do I have here? There's a heat pack, that's not what I'm looking for. Let's see what we've got like a uh, hot stove, like hot plate wise here. Cause I think, I think we got like a, like a hot plate or something. There's a charcoal smoker, that's not what I'm looking for. Uh, there's a dehydrator, not good. There's gotta be something in here. And I do you best believe that there's gotta be some fighting. I, I do wanna get to that. Cause we haven't done that in a while. You know, I, like the out in the city fighting. Kinda miss that. I like going toe to toe with the zombos. Uh there's a waffle iron. That is not gonna cut it, man. Uh let's see. Can I make like a little hot plate? Or heating elements. Yeah, I don't know. It might not be worth disassembling things for like heating elements. Uh, Cause I don't know what even has it that we have. You know what, honestly, 
If the meat goes off, it goes off. We'll we'll eat it as as we need it. And I'm just gonna get us into somewhere that we can do some fighting. I think Waitsfield we cleared out pretty well. So maybe we could drive back up to the city, the city here, and work on clearing out more of that. Because we had been trying to do that for quite a while. Um actually hold on, no. Uh I just I almost wanted to like set the base doing a task or something, but then I realized I can't really have them do much. Yeah, this uh, the auto drive it really messes with me sometimes. I keep on thinking that I'm good and then I'm not. And then also, okay, cool. It looks like I don't know. I haven't really changed anything, but it seems a lot more responsive to me. And oh, there's a black bear cub. I'll wait for it to turn into an actual black bear and then we'll come back for it. Because we want that large stomach. Oh yeah, also we killed the moose, so if I could get another large stomach then we could make more ursine mutagen, that'd be kind of cool. You know what's kind of crazy? I, um, I was looking at things and we have... Oh, ah! I basically have like two um, episodes pre-recorded at this point and that's it. Like, I don't know how, but I have somehow managed to neg neglect Cataclysm that much where it's like I literally have nothing saved up. Okay, come on. We're like six minutes in. Oh, there was a cougar there, but I think the cougars, they don't give you large stomachs or anything. Okay, we're at the FEMA camp. Let's start cutting over through the field. We'll be there in no time. Yeah, we don't want to be crossing over this if we can avoid it, because it does slow you down a little bit. That terrain. A little life pro tip if you're trying to slow down a mob. Oh, there's a, a heck knight over there. <laughs> I don't know. Some, I know that I'm like overly cautious with the swearing on the internet. And I shouldn't be given the content that I'm I'm putting out there. But I'm a paranoid person. If you know anything about me, that's actually why I'm I'm actually any good at roguelikes is just because of the massive paranoia that I have. Um, I think I'm gonna cut left. We haven't really done as much fighting to the left. Harvey is tired and he's trying to sleep. Um, or he was trying to sleep, but I think he's awake enough to do fighting. And so I would like to get him to do some combat. I could also have him read books for a little while. Get some of his combat experience up that way. Um, what do we have here? Corrosive, skeletal... Yeah, we can we can handle this. No problem. Can I get my proper gun out? Uh, yep. And the corrosive is down. Is there anything else that is seriously problematic? Not really. Um, Harvey, wake up. Let's go. Are you going to come to me? Yes, you are. Cool. Uh, that skeletal juggernaut, I don't know if you guys saw that on the mini-map, though, but he just knocked that car around a little bit. Pretty cool. I like, I like when the zombies do that. Uh, come on, child. Come on. Okay, you got the dog. And there goes the child. And what do we have to our left there? I think we might try and go towards them so that our friend here, he, um... Yeah, so he kills the zombies before the juggernaut gets this. Man, that car is seriously getting super banged up right now. It's kind of awesome. This juggernaut's just, like, smashing this car trying to get to us. Uh, what is that? Is he grabbed? Oh no, he's prone. He's been knocked prone. That's not good. He's trying to hit him while he's prone. I'm gonna go with the log so I can see the attacks that he's getting on this guy. Oh, there he goes. Come on. Yeah. Um, how are you doing? That wrestler's pretty much dead. Okay, cool. Come on, Yuka. You got it. I believe in you. 
Jesus, come on. There we go. How are you doing, wound wise? Yeah, that guy like hardly even touched you. He's such a great companion, this guy. Look at him. He's so cool. Um, how's your armor doing? I don't really care about any of these things, to be completely honest. Okay, let's, let's let the juggernaut get to us. Hello. Oh, look, he's like churning up the, the ground there. That's so cool. I didn't realize that when he pushed the car like that, that, that would happen. Oh! Uh... Let's, uh, let's switch with you, because I think you got hit by that car. I don't know if he did or not. He might not have, but it, it looks like he was going to. God, I love seeing him fight these juggernauts. He just, like, they can't hit him. He's just too, uh, quick. Oh, no! He, he stepped on a mound of dirt. He's not very quick there. Though he is quicker than the Juggernaut. Uh, how are you doing wound-wise? You know, he is getting a little hurt from getting knocked around there. And this, I think, is faster experience than just having him read. Okay, I am going to... You know, just dismember this corpse over here. And... Oh, look, his survivor hood, I think, got banged up. Okay, Harvey. Uh, no, I'm not gonna fix it up. I'll I'll fix that up probably in between episodes. I want to kind of attack more zombies before we advance further, but I'm not sure. Get him! There we go. Oh, you know what's also something that we need to keep an eye out for? I've got this Geiger counter on me. If we look at you, you're irradiated a little bit. I, I just kind of want to keep an eye on his irradiation. Oh look, a permanent marker. I'm going to take that so we can write on things just a little easier. I do also have that chainsaw, so I could try and chainsaw down uh, a log. I'm just a little bit curious about how that would go if we tried to do that here. It looks like something's been fighting though. Oh, oh, oh. Whoops. Uh, can I reload my chainsaw? That's why I want to reload. Oh, no gasoline? I have I have no gasoline here. Oh no, I do. Cool. How much did I put in? A full full amount? Um actually you know what? Come out with us. Is that caterpillar going for me? No, they're not good. I was about to say, Mr. Caterpillar, that would, would not be a, a wise decision. <laughs> oh, whoa, what was that? A miner bot? Oh man, so you, that must have been what was churning up the soil here. Okay, let's, uh, let's see. Um, nope, wrong thing. Chainsaw, if I go here and activate... Oh! Oh jeez. Sorry about that. That is super loud. Oh my god. Ouch. <laughs> oh man. Okay, that's like 13 minutes in. I'm gonna try and probably quiet that down. That was absolutely obnoxious. Uh, chop down a tree? I'm gonna ignore that. Whatever is churning is not concerning. Uh, hold on. That just rhymed. <laughs> uh, tree trunk into logs. Can I ignore that? There we go. Our friend took care of it for us. I kind of knew that he would. Okay, we got three logs there. That should be more than enough. Let's turn off this chainsaw. Oh my goodness. And you can hear again, right? Um, I'm going to need to get the car right next to that, I think. What would be really nice is if we had our um, companion here able to carry those logs, just like on his back or something. You know, because he's like crazy, crazy strong. 
That would make me very happy. But alas. Um, so let's see. Let's try and move all that to here. And then we'll get that stuff inside. Probably won't fit in here, will it? Oh, wow. <laughs> no, it totally did. We just fit three logs in there. Cool. That should be an more than enough charcoal. <clears throat> we did want to get some planks as well. I think that that's probably good on wood for now. For our cooking that we're going to end up doing. Let's just back this up, though. Oh yeah, we also don't have the camera charger going because I was trying to get a little bit more charge because if you look at our car, it's really little on gasoline and uh, battery power, which reminds me, I actually wanted to um, try and siphon gas while we were in town. Okay. And if I look here, siphon, yep, cool. And if we just do that, like, religiously, we should be okay for gasoline for a little while. If I look at my motors, I'm using my gas engine right now and not my electric. Okay. I wasn't sure. I'd, I'd forgotten, honestly. Oh, no, I just ran over a Kevlar harness. That is a shame because that's Kevlar, right? You know, honestly, at this point, though, we have access to more materials than we'll ever need. So I don't know what I'm going on about. I need a hose. I thought I had one. Yeah, it's it's been kind of awesome recently because I've we've got our own place now. I'm not living with the in-laws, and so I'm able to record a little bit more flexibly. Um, basically, when the wife's going to work, and that's been really nice for me. I've been able to get a lot more um, time in recently where that I can record you know I think because like before when I was at their place I did play video games a little bit still but it wasn't like all being recorded uh what's this this is like a military vehicle just kind of random for this neighborhood right is it a security van yeah it's a security van can I siphon Also, we probably actually have a decent amount of gasoline. It's just all in an external tank, which is huge. So keep that in mind. This is like uh, 37 liters. That's like a half tank of a regular um, tank, you know? And it looks like we actually have tons of water. I don't know why I was trying to get more water. That was one of the things I wrote down on my list of things to get. And I actually, you know, I, I almost skipped it, but I did see that there was some stuff on the ground here. And I'm curious about what they got growing. Um, what is that? Is that a radish or... Oh, it's a sugar beet. That's... Oh, that's perfect. If we can get sh uh, sugar beets, we're going to be in a really good place. That's a really useful, um, really, really useful thing. Uh, it's one of the easiest ways to get sugar, <laughs> you know, hence the name. Uh, that shambler is going to be acidic, aren't they? Electric jackhammer. I think I already have all those, don't I? This is interesting. This is like a house that was under construction or something. Shame about that gas there. Yeah, it looks like this place was under construction. Oh, I still have my flashlight on. I didn't even realize that. Oh yeah, the, the Dungeons and Dragons uh, basement. I keep on telling myself I'm gonna use like the RPG dice to decide things, but then I never do. Uh, you know what? YOLO. Oh, we're still carrying around a ton of fat. That's gross. Have some soda. Have some. Have some wine. Isn't that like a European thing? I should know, seeing how I was born in England. I should know that. Um. 
that looks like that's it, right? Uh, oh, there's a Dahlia. And Bluebell. I'm not sure what those things do. Like, what you can make with them. It might just be... Oh, they're, yeah, they're just decorative. And you could make bird food from that. That is one thing to keep that for. That's not really much of a reason to keep something, you know? Okay, yeah, let's get back into it, and we'll do a little bit more combat slash clearing things out. And I know that we could also probably collect a ton of planks and other stuff for our base while we're in here. I'll probably do that, like, at the end of the episode, a little bit off can Oh my gosh, what is that? That looks fun. That's a lot of zombies. Are they coming my way? They're kind of coming my way. I think they're coming towards the gun sound that they heard earlier. Not 100% sure. If I can lure some of them over here and not the whole group, I think that Harvey could probably just clear them out with his axe. Right? Yeah, let's just lure as little of them as we can at a time, basically. We do actually have books as well that I should be reading to Harvey, but I, I honestly just wanted to get a recording in because, like I said, I just don't have enough things built up. Or, um, not save, that's the wrong word. Okay, someone's seen me. A few of them have seen me and have started to come off from the group. Let's just fall back a little bit more here, Harvey. Just, you know, just to be on the safe side. And he's like, no, nah, I got this, man. One hit. One hit KO. Uh, that Dissolve Devourer, though, that could... Don't they have, like, some weird special attacks or something? Well, if they do, it didn't even phase him. Uh, isn't there, like, a little combat lock? Yeah, I can do the combat lock. I like that capital P. I never really do that. Oh, wow, so it was regenerating while he, he was, uh... Yeah, when he gets like two attacks in at once, he almost guar is guaranteed uh, that I could kill that turn, you know? Like, he does a lot of damage. I wish that I could see, if you guys know a way for me to see like the exact damage that he's doing on those attacks, I would love that. I don't really know why the developer... I know why they did it, because, you know, like, you shouldn't know exactly how much damage something's done. But it would be nice to have some sort of at least color indicator or something. There's a lot of them coming our way now. Dude, let's just walk a little bit closer to the car in case we need to. Then again, I'm saying that and I haven't even done a single shot yet. Okay, he's going for the children. Um... Can I aim at the firefighter? I think that he needs a little backup. Not a lot. He's gonna be, honestly, yeah, totally fine. It didn't look like he got any attack when he hit multiple enemies, though, unfortunately. God, he's such a beast, though. Like, literally. Okay, these guys are hard to hit. Um, can I get the Jane out? Yeah, go ahead and put the gun on. I figured I could do a little, a little combat, right? Okay, uh... I guess he's still got the two kills. <laughs> oh, I need, I need the warmth of fire, apparently. You know what, you little pyro? Have your fun. I keep this thing on me, and I never use it. You happily light a fire. Okay, so that's gotten rid of the debuff. But what I really need to do to <laughs> make myself properly happy is burn more than just that. Can I uh, 
start a fire there. You need you need to light more. Oh, and the fire's gonna spread though, isn't it? I don't know how long I'm gonna have to wait near here for that fire to spread, but it will spread. Can I just like I'm gonna just light I think this building on fire. Oh there's a toolbox? I have a second toolbox. I was literally about to just light this whole building on fire. Maybe I should just check out the items before I do that. Just a quick pass over, right? Um, I'm gonna do it though. We're basing the inner pyro. I mean that that fire is uh isn't that a big fire already? Small fire, it's hot air. Yeah, it's just, uh, we'll come back. We'll come back after a couple minutes and see if it's still there. Is this what I think it is? Did you hit someone so hard that you smash them into pieces? No, I think it, that's frozen from like a previous thing that when we were in here. Um, let's just get the car and we'll drive it up a little bit. We're going to destroy a lot of stuff though while, while we're doing that, unfortunately. Um... Sure, pick that up. Free calories. And same with that, actually, because that we actually need uh, the cardboard box for that one mission. But I don't want to be <laughs> here much longer. Let's bring Harvey up. Like, I know so many people hate NPCs in this game, but to me, they're one of my favorite elements of the whole thing. Like, I just love the idea of surviving out here with, like, just, like, one or two other people, you know, in the apocalypse, is what I mean. But then it, it's extra cool because it's, like, all sci-fi, right? I've got my cow ma mutant man. Okay. As you can see, now our, our fuel is no longer completely empty. Can I... I don't think I'm going to be able to get around that. Maybe. No. Never mind. Not able to get around it. Ah. Let's, let's try that again. I'm... Do you ever have that moment in this game where you're just, like, trying to do something and it just, like your brain just tells you to do the absolute opposite of what you really need to do. I feel like that happens to me all the time with the cars. Oh no, there's a draining tank there. Ignore. Thank you. And I'll just keep on going along my merry way. Oh look, solar panels! That's what I've been looking for actually, because remember I, I needed some for our car. I want to upgrade them as well, like make reinforced. And there was a military vehicle that was just south as well that I wanted to do. Oh, there's clean water. Well, that's nice. Um, can I just drink it? Yeah, I'm just going to take a couple sips of the, that clean water tank. I think I already have the toolbox on me, don't I? If I do, I'm just going to take these off. Uh, ignore. Um, dang it. I know that Harvey probably could take these guys on his own, but I just kind of wanted to make sure he was good. And he is. He's totally fine. Kind of. Okay, this dude is actually kind of hurting you, huh? Yeah, you got you got some damage. Yeah, I just kind of want to just maybe just take a second, um, because there's a pretty big group just right there. Maybe I should be proactive and fight them, and then I'll take care of the solar panel thing. Yeah, Screecher, you're gonna you're gonna draw the whole crowd over here, aren't you? Why don't I get you really far over here before? I I can't remember. If I had a proper kip. What the heck is a kip, dude? You're in, like, New England. I don't know what you're talking about. 
If I look at your um, stats, I think you're fine. Yeah. And then I'm actually curious if I talk to you and I go to M. Actually, you're very, very thirsty. I should definitely um, give you some water. Um, what did I just do? Okay, yeah, I don't, I don't know. That's, I don't think I messed up his commands. Um, let's get a, like, a jug or something and we'll get some water in that from this car. Um, yeah. Um, south. Okay, let's get that. I wish that you were able to pick things up a little bit easier off the ground than that. It's kind of a huge pain. Let's see, where's that boomer at? Yeah. Unfortunately, does that irradiate him when that happens? He's about the same radiation level as he was earlier. I am also curious if there's any items in there that I, I would want. Nope. Super gross orange juice. <laughs> Harvey, are you... You better not be sleeping. Let's go. Oh, you're trapped. Come on out of there. Um, let's siphon that into this uh, gallon jug. And then... Um, you know what I need to do is... They, I, I figured it out. The auto zones, those don't work for NPCs. That works for you when you're doing a task. So they just haven't really connected that. Um, I think they are working on the AI and they'll have it all sorted out soon and they're just kind of like well we're gonna do an ai overhaul anyways so we're holding off on it um so we're gonna have to do this for a little bit longer hopefully he doesn't throw up after having all this water kind of feel like he's going to um you better not be about to puke Wait, the Shriekling fused with the dissolve. Okay, um, gross. Very gross. That devourer just like fused with him. The child. This child just like became a massive zombie. Or part of that massive zombie. Okay, it's been about half an hour. I'm going to end this here. Thank you for joining me. This has been Orange One.